I just returned from a trip to Nashville. I spent the last four days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four and a half days in Nashville. Went down there for a real estate convention and I was a little bit nervous leaving when I left because of all of the information we were receiving about the coronavirus and I know that a lot of other franchises and companies and businesses have canceled events. Well, we, we went and we had about 6,500 real estate professionals from all over the country attend this event. Knowing it was going to be a lot crowd event I decided I was going to take as many precautions as I could so I got hand sanitizer I got some of my Clorox wipes I put them in a bag I made wipes using baby wipes with alcohol and aloe vera to try to you know to have more wipes so I tried to be as proactive as possible when I got on the flight I took Vaseline I stuffed it up each nostril <laughs> Because the coronavirus is airborne, really. I mean, you can touch it, you can get infected by when people sneeze and if you breathe it in and all that. So I really tried to protect myself as much as possible, knowing that it was a huge risk because people were getting sick and, you know, we're hearing it on the news and all that. And I didn't know if until the very last moment if the franchise, Berkshire Hathaway, was going to cancel the convention, which they didn't. So anyways, long story short, I came home yesterday and I wanted to kind of create this video of things that I really wanted to talk about. One was the skincare that I took with me and I tried a couple of new things and there were some things that I didn't bring with me. I wanted to see how it would do if I didn't use something for four or five days, if it would make a difference. And I'll tell you, some of it made a huge difference. It really, really did. So I was kind of surprised at that. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the trip. We had a really long layover in Baltimore. So a bunch of us met up at one of the airport bars, so to speak, and we spent a couple of hours. I only spent a little under two hours there, but a lot of them were there for four and a half to five hours because of the flight issues were just crazy. So we met, we had a good time, and then the rest of our flight from Baltimore to Nashville was pretty well uneventful, and we arrived. I think the biggest issue for me was, was getting my phone to adjust to a different location, a different time zone. We caught Ubers. We rented a six- bedroom Airbnb so 10 people two had backed out at the last moment because of the virus and the concerns about it so actually staying in the house there were eight of us and it worked out just fine you know we all had our own bedrooms we had our own bathrooms it was private it was just really beautiful the Airbnb was huge I couldn't get over it it was amazing and it was pretty close to where the convention was we went down to the convention did a whole bunch of different things classes and seminars and things of that nature and then at night we had um, the first night that we were there, well actually the second night we had the formal event, not formal attire, but it was sort of the big Berkshire Hathaway event reveal and they had they had food trucks. It was it was cowpoke, you know, it was very casual country atmosphere. They had bands playing and then we went into the Country Music Hall of Fame. I actually loved walking through the Country Music Hall of Fame, and there were a lot of vendors there that were earlier than my time, and I'm not a huge country fan, but I do remember, you know, the bad boys of country, Alabama, Waylon Jennings, uh, even Willie Nelson, things of that nature, so walking through there and seeing some of their outfits and their guitars and just hearing and seeing a little bit of their history was really a lot, a lot of fun. On the first night we went there, one of the girls that was in the Airbnb with me, her and I went to the Grand Old Opry. And I'd never been to the Grand Old Opry. I've walked by the outside of it, but I never went inside. So we went to the Grand Old Opry and it was, it was, it was really inspiring to be in there, to be in that arena, to just sit there, to know all of the famous people that got their musical spots there. It was like really amazing. So we, we did that. Most of the entertainers I had never heard of. There was this one singer. He was young. He was phenomenal. Oh my gosh, his voice was just amazing. And then there was these two guys. I think it was um, what, their skinny Indian and the fat white guy or something like that. 
<laughs> yeah, it was pretty risque. It was really risque. They were comedians and singers, and they were the price that, I mean, to me, it was well worth it just hearing them. They were so funny. I laughed so hard that I started to cry. But so that was really cool to be able to be in there. And then, like I said, the Country Music Hall of Fame was just amazing. And then on our Sunshine Kids, which is the major fundraiser that Berkshire Hathaway Corporate endorses, which is an organization for kids with cancer, they had Lady Antebella play. Oh my gosh. You know, those three, they got their start in Nashville. And I remember Hillary when she was on, was it American Idol or Voice or something like that? And um, to see how far they've come as a band, as a threesome, and also to know that they're friends. They're, they're really actually friends and they're all married. They have children. They, they really believe in, in family. It was inspiring to hear their story and to, to watch them perform for us. So the time was spent exploring Nashville. I did try on a pink hat that I really liked. I didn't buy it. I almost bought it, but I didn't buy it. I figured, you know what, I really wouldn't wear it anywhere here, but it was really cute and a lot of the a lot of the girls in our group they ended up buying the cowboy boots and they ended up buying the hats and I didn't do any of that I had my boots with me I'm going to show you a picture here of my boots I love these things so I had my own boots with me I didn't need to buy cowboy boots when I had these boots they were so much fun to walk around with I actually got a lot of comments on them and then I had what else did we do oh oh what I wanted to tell you was that before I went away, I think it was about a week or so before I got a PR package and I had shared this from City Beauty and in the PR package was their advanced night cream and their under eye recovery, these two creams. These were the only night and or eye skin care that I brought with me. So every night I put, after I took my makeup off, no matter how late it was, I took this, it scooped it in and then patted a little bit around my eyes, then I washed it off. And then I just kind of patted it into my eyes and let it just soak into my eyes. The next morning after I washed, I used the under eye recovery. I don't know if it's a combination of them both or what, but I was thrilled with this. It, it took away, and you got to remember too that I was away, I was probably drinking more, I was staying up later. It took away my bags. You know, it made my eyes look really good. I really, really liked that a lot. The other thing that I took with me was I have this complex. This I I do like Saturday Skin, and Saturday Skin has sent me a number of different products over the course of this last year and a half. This is their 10% glycolic acid pore control complex. And this was actually sent to me complimentary from Saturday Skin via the Octoly Network in exchange for review. And I'll tell you, I really like this a lot. I kind of used it as a, let me see, it's a clarifying toner. Uh, it says just apply gently to cleansed fans, uh, face with a cotton pad used three to five times a week. I actually use this every other night. So while I was away, I used this three times. I really like it. And I used it as a toner. I like glycolic toner in it. To me, it worked really well on my skin. I thought it was fantastic. The one thing that I didn't bring that I will never leave home without is my spatula. This is the LaBelle Trophy Skin Label Spatula. And I know some of you have an off-brand and whatever you, you use is fine. I bought this uh, when, they, when QVC had a special from Trophy Skin. And I use it pretty consistently. I actually use it more as time goes on. I've used it more than in the beginning. So I charge it, I turn it on, and I have wet skin. And I just let it gently glide over my pores, especially around my nose. Well... Sometimes I do this every night just to give myself a really good cleanse to clean out those pores. And sometimes I use it like every other night. Well, when I went away, I said, well, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. I don't need to bring it. So I did not pack it. I went without this. And even though I, I used, you know, I used a glycolic toner, I cleansed my skin really well, I could still see under my little magnifying glass that I bought, I could see that my pores looked a little congested and so when I got home I used this after I washed my face last night and I used it and I watched under my 10 my big 10 times magnifying glass 
as I was cleaning it. And I was like totally grossed out. I couldn't believe the gunk that came out. So to the point where I will not leave home without this ever again. I'm going on a bigger trip this summer. As long as Corona behaves. Uh, a bigger trip this summer where I'll be gone for almost three weeks. You better believe I'm going to find room for this in my suitcase. Because I could not believe the junk that was coming out of my skin when I came home. It was like unbelievable. So whatever spatula you're using, and if you if you bought one, whether you bought one of the off-brands or you bought the trophy skin, you might be using it and you're going, oh, I didn't see a difference. Well, stop using it and then go back and use it under a 10 times magnified mirror and you, you will be amazed at the crap that comes out of your skin. When you're using it consistently, you don't have that much buildup anymore. So, uh, it, wow. All I can say is wow. And the other thing, I just want to share with you really quick. I got this PR package from Pixie. Pixie periodically sends me PR packages. Well, this was the cutest thing. This is actually a hydrating milky collection skin treats. And they're numbered one, two, three. There's six packages in here. It starts out with, I'm going to turn my, put my glasses on. It starts out with the hydrating milky makeup remover. I haven't used it yet. And then the second step is the cleanser. So you have a makeup remover, a cleanser. Third one is the peel, exfoliate and smooth. Oh my gosh, the whole set is amazing. The fourth one is the Milky Tonic, Balance and Comfort. The fifth one is Hydrating Milky Serum and then Hydrating Milky Lotion. So, I mean, the package itself was just, you know, it was like amazing. Pixie puts together the most, I think, the most interesting PR packages. They really knock it out of the park, I think, with their presentation. So this was absolutely adorable. I was like, oh my gosh. So this was an amazing PR pack. I know cleansing your skin. I don't usually spend a whole lot of money on cleansers. I use CeraVe or, you know, whatever cleanser I can. And then it's the makeup remover. The, the, the When you have the sunblock on your face, the, that kind of stuff that is so hard to get off. So I'm really looking forward to the makeup remover, then the cleanser, doing actually the steps they say on the package. I think that's really cool. So that was sent to me complimentary from Pixie. So while I was away, sunblock, sunblock, I ended up only bringing two, I brought two foundations and I didn't use the second one at all. I wanted to really work through my Estee Lauder double wear that I have. So, sunblock, the 50 SPF, I put that on every morning. I let it soak in and then a little bit later I put on my Estee Lauder double wear in the color La Pebble, which is the color that I have on right now. I want to finish the bottle. And I'll have a little bit more, but you know what? I'm not, I, I just want to finish it. So my focus was to finish it, and I, I didn't use enough to finish it while I was away. I don't, I mean, contrary to what you might think, I don't wear a lot of foundation all over my face. I, I, I'm a pretty light foundation applier. The Estee Lauder Double Wear is a, is a full coverage, so I really like that. I don't need to use a whole lot to build it up. But I, I brought that and I brought my Boots number 7. I didn't touch the Boots number 7 because I kept thinking I could finish the SD Lauder. And I came home with some more in there anyway. So that was the scoop on that. Sunblock, sunblock. Nashville was a blast. This was the second time I was in Nashville. The first time I had gone on a girls trip to Nashville. It was really, really awesome. And I'll link those videos in case you missed them. And this time was business. And I um, I missed my husband. My husband wasn't with me. So I missed having my honey with me. But I had a great time. It was surrounded by all sorts of people from my company. So I knew everyone. I felt very comfortable in my Airbnb. And my traveling companions were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, and I don't know how long this video is getting to be. But in our trade show, they have this... Um, this little section where they have this cosmetic brand, that skincare brand and all that. And they were there last year too. And this year they were there again. Well, this year they kind of roped me into sitting there. And it was so funny, my conversation with the lady. She's like, you know, she's talking about the importance of skincare. She's I know that you, you know, you believe in skincare. I can tell that you believe in skincare and facials and, 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 and uh, you know, and Botox and, um, and fillers and stuff like that. And she says, when did you last have your Botox done? 
I was like, um, I haven't had any Botox. Can you tell my jowls? My skin is sagging. I haven't had any Botox. Well, she was insisting that I had Botox in my forehead. And I, I was like, no Botox in my forehead. And she, you know, she was like really amazed with that, especially when she didn't believe I was 66. So that made my day, you know, that made my day. But it was so funny because here she is trying to pitch skincare products and she she was like, she couldn't tell that I, she really thought I had Botox in my forehead. So anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but it did kind of make my day. On my head, I have my Raquel Welch wig and a lot of you have asked me to do a little bit of a, more of a, more wigs, a wig tutorial on how I take care of them. And I will tell you that, I mean, not everyone is interested in wigs, but I will talk a little bit more about wigs because I know a lot of you see me in wigs. Well, the one I have on my head is a heat-friendly Raquel Welch. The fibers on a Raquel Welch heat-friendly wigs are beautiful. They do take a little extra maintenance. And the only maintenance is to take a wide tooth comb, and I just comb mine very gently. I, I just really take good care of my wigs. When I travel with them, I turn them inside out. I put them in a plastic bag so they can fit flat in my suitcase. When I get to where I'm going, I take them out. I shake them up. Sometimes I hang them upside down a little bit on a pants hanger with a little clip. Sometimes I pack my collapsible uh, you know, frame that you can put a wig on. Uh, but most of the time, I just hang them on a little clip on the pants hangers. Most hotels have, have those coast, those hangers. And then it's just a matter of, and sometimes you can mist it with water. I mean, the care is not all that difficult. If you take the time to really take care of them, I think they last a long time. This is the Raquel Welch Editor's Pick. And the color I have on is Shaded Cappuccino. I kind of like this color. It's sort of more of a cooler color for me compared to my other wig that I wear a lot is in the color Shaded Wheat from my Raquel Welch. And then I also wear Henry Magoo's Hayden wig a lot. And then I wear some uni wigs. Some wear a whole bunch of different wigs. Sometimes people don't know I have them on, sometimes they do. I don't care, it's a hair accessory. It makes me feel good. They're fun to wear. Some people like them, some people don't. I enjoy them. So that's what I have on. And as some of you know, I've been doing some wig reviews for Wig Studio One. They send me wigs that I probably wouldn't Bye. I have a wig uh, review coming up. I don't know if it's going to be published before this video gets published, but I have a wig review coming up for them. And all of the styles they've sent me wouldn't have been something I would have picked ordinarily for myself. So they're they're a little bit different colors. They're a little bit more dramatic looks than I normally have because I kind of like you know I kind of gravitate towards the blondie look and I kind of like the shoulder length. I like the beachy waves. Um, you know, this this is more of the type of a look that I, I kind of gravitate to. and um, But, you know, it's kind of fun to wear something that's edgy, that's different. I think that's kind of fun. And I'm enjoying the quality of the wigs that are out there today. It's amazing at the quality because I remember years ago, you know, wigs were... They were, they were, and I'm sure you can still get wigs. I've seen some of them. You know, it really depends. I mean, some of the inexpensive wigs are beautiful, and some are very wiggy. This has a lot of hair. This has some permities. This has a lot of hair compared to the hair I have. But when I wear this out, nobody ever, I don't get anybody that looks at me and go, is that a wig? <laughs> they don't. Maybe they think it. I don't know. But anyways, I know I'm rambling now, so as Jay would say, I just talk too much. I wanted this to be a short, sweet video just to kind of give you an update on Nashville, and I'm going on and on and on. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I know I've had a number of new subscribers lately. Thank you for joining me on this anti-aging journey. And yes, it's anti-aging. It, to me, it's anti-aging. I am slowing down as much as I can that process. So... That's it, guys. Bye-bye.